What's up, fight fans? It is the homie, main man, me, man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. Salute to the fam. The thing is, man, I want to talk some women's boxing real quick, man. I'm checking out this um, situation that's going down between Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall. And uh, it looked like things are kind of heating up. You know what I'm saying? I hope we get this fight right here. You know, we know that these two right here are rivals. Um, they got a lot of history because uh, Savannah Marshall was the first and only fighter to ever beat Clarissa Shields. It went down back in the amateurs in 2012 when Clarissa Shields was just 17 years old. Now, we know that Savannah Marshall, uh, she came down from 168 pounds and moved down to 160 to the middleweight division where she claimed the WBO title, which was vacant by Clarissa Shields. She beat Hannah Rankin for that WBO title, but there was a lesser version of Hannah Rankin that Clarissa Shields is for. Clarissa Shields fought a Hannah Rankin that did not have, what, four or five losses. I, be, I believe at the time when Savannah Marshall fought her, she had four losses. That wasn't the same version that Clarissa Shields fought. You know what I'm saying? Now, we see Savannah Marshall out here on her social media, and we seen her in her post-fight interview after she just had a recent victory over a lady named Marie Limberg, and she was the first fighter to stop Marie Limberg. No one has ever stopped Marie Limberg, and, and Limberg been in there uh, with some names, names like Christina Hammer, uh, and then some, but they couldn't stop her, and this girl Savannah Marshall did. So this made her boss up in her post-fight interview and say, you know, Clarissa Shields can't take her punches. She basically alluding to the fact that she hits a little too hard for Clarissa Shields. Now, of course, Clarissa Shields has heard this and she going ham on social media right now. You know what I'm saying? She going all in. Y'all know the T-Rex don't play. You call her name, she coming. You know what I'm saying? You better look over your shoulder, man, all day. But yo, man, so this got her all fired up and she like, yo, let's do this. Y'all already know how T-Rex do. She like, let's make this happen. The only thing she's asking is for the promoter, Eddie Hearn, the promoter of Savannah Marshall, to put some money up, to put some a proper amount of money up. Over a million, maybe a mil plus, you know what I'm saying? Something to that effect. Pay for the T-Rex. This girl is way too accomplished to keep bending to the will of these fighters. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to stop paying how they wait. Now, Savannah Marshall been using this girl's name ever since she became a pro. The one thing that she's been riding on the whole damn time is the fact that she beat Clarissa Shields back in the amateurs. Commentators can't get enough of it. You know what I'm saying? Every time she fights, that's all is the topic of discussion. So we're trying to end all that. We're trying to eliminate all that. And we're trying to see who the best. You know what I'm saying? Now, I got to give it to Savannah. She did look real strong against that Lindbergh lady. You know what I mean? She did look very, very strong. Uh, he, she connected with a right hand that was thudding. You know what I'm saying? Without a doubt. She's tall, she's lanky, she looks a bit more thicker and stronger than, say, like a Christian, Christina Hammer was. Um, but she seems like she's she's fundamentally sound. She likes to work the jab, she uses her length, and that's how she fights. But she is a bit slow, and she does a lot of pity pat punches. And I think that Clarissa Shields, with the fundamentals that she has, will get up under that jab. And she will get to the inside and unleash combination explosive punching. You know what I'm saying? The only thing is sometimes I see that Clarissa sometimes smothers herself. But I think she'll make it. I think she'll get right around Savannah Marshall's jab. And she'll go in there and she'll just do a lot of damage on the inside. Now, Savannah Marshall beat Clarissa Shields in the amateurs. But it wasn't like a blowout. There was no knockdowns. There wasn't no knockouts. She beat her on a point system. And from what I understand what Clarissa Shields said... She only beat her like 8 to 14. Like it wasn't like a blowout blowout. You know what I'm saying? And that was the amateurs. Clarissa was only 17 years old. Since then, Clarissa has blown the roof off of women's boxing. Two-time uh, uh, gold medalist in the Olympics. Uh, undisputed in two weight classes. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I mean, she's blown the lid off of women's boxing. And then on top of that, you look at her trail of bodies, if you will. She beat the who's who of those weight classes. You know what I'm saying? From Hannah Gabriels to, to, to Rankin to, to Christina Hammer. I mean, all of these names she lined up. But yet, when I look at Savannah Marshall's resume, when I look at her box rec, I don't see none of these names. She was at 68 and 60, and yet she's fought no one that we recognize. But yet, she's a world champion, and she's writing the Clarissa Shields name, you know what I'm saying, all the way to the bank. And I'm like, yo, where's, where's the levels here? Where's where's I mean, she stopped this lady off of one. Take in mind, Lindbergh took the fight on a one-week notice. A one-week notice. You know what I'm saying? So, from, and from what Clarissa Shields been saying, a lot of this girl's fights, Savannah Marshall's fights, have been on one-week notices. 
And just what I see in it, a difference, man, I just see a major, major explosive difference and a major, major speed difference. And I think those two things are going to hurt her against Clarissa, man. T-Rex is going to be a monster when she get up in there, I believe. Now, we know that uh, Clarissa Shields is going to go off and do the MMA thing. She's already all signed up to do that. But I think after that is all said and done sometime this summer, whenever that may go down, uh, she'll look to come on back and pivot to this situation. It just makes sense. At first, I was wondering why Savannah Marshall was saying that I'll fight her at the end of the year. But maybe she's taking that step back to allow Clarissa to go do her thing in the octagon. You know what I'm saying? I hope Clarissa be careful and I hope she don't hurt herself, man, to come on back to the fight game, you know? But now, don't misunderstand me, fam. I'm not saying that this girl Savannah Marshall can't fight. And this girl can punch. She's definitely packing a lot of power in her punches. She stopped eight of her 10 opponents. You know what I mean? So this girl can definitely punch. She's definitely strong. She has a good right hand. You know, that's something that Clarissa Shields will have to definitely be on the lookout for. And like I said, this ain't the amateurs. You know, uh, this girl Savannah Marshall, since she's became a pro, she's stopping everybody. You know what I'm saying? And some people may say, does uh, Clarissa Shields run the risk of being clipped? You know, but hey, I, I'll say this, man. Savannah Marshall is stopping everybody, but these everybodies are pretty much nobody. So, I mean, though, and she did stop ranking. I will give her that. She did stop ranking. But at the end of the day, that's about as good as it gets. And I mean, she's she's doing what she's supposed to do. She's looking very, very dominant. She's stopping these, these soccer moms or whatnot. But at the end of the day, that ain't Clarissa Shields. And I need to see that on the top floor. You know what I mean? To let me know it's true. But like I said, Clarissa ain't stopping really nobody. But she has fought much better competition now if you listen to savannah marshall and let her tell her side of the story she'll tell you that caressa shields is more accomplished because she felt as though caressa started before she did and had more opportunities than she has that's how savannah marshall feels about the situation i mean say what you may you know there's still a lot of names out there that savannah marshall has not crossed yet and at the end of the day you know we've seen caressa pretty much blow these women out the water she might not be stopping them but she's clearly whitewashing most of them, you know what I mean? And as for this girl, Savannah Marshall, well, she's a, she's stopping everybody, you know what I mean? Man, this would be interesting, really interesting as pros as opposed to, to when they were amateurs, you know what I'm saying? So as I'm looking more and more, I see the trash talk between Clarissa and and uh, Savannah Marshall is getting to a, a, a loud level at this point. I see I'm looking on Twitter and I see that Twitter has been turned upside down. You know how everybody is so PC nowadays. All because Clarissa Shields called Savannah Marshall the Great White Hope. And this got people going crazy. Oh, how she interjected race. Yeah, she's being racial. Why would that got to do with anything? I mean, I get it. You know how today's people is in. Clarissa, she's a T-Rex, man. She's loud. She, she's unfiltered. She says what's on her mind. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, I, 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 I don't think people should take it that way. I think it's a boxing term. You know, it's like saying bum. It's like saying, you know, this kid, when you know that's a grown ass man, you know what I'm saying? It's a boxing term. Um, great white hope has always been used to describe uh, fighters, mainly white fighters, who was going to eventually be put up against a black champion. And they pretty much took the easy route there. I mean, they've been going there. They've been get, going through folks and knocking them out, riding a hype train. And so they get an extra leg up. They, they have this incentive, this hope that they are going to be the one that can dethrone the black champion. And that's just, you know, been around the fight game for centuries. You know what I mean? For centuries, decades. And as far as I can remember, and it's I, I consider it like a boxing term. You know what I'm saying? I remember they even did a movie called The Great White Hype. You know what I mean? It's just a boxing term. I don't think it's meant to be racial or racist. Uh, Clarissa Shields, man, she got white friends and stuff like that, man. She ain't no racist type person. She is saying that, they have hope that she is the one that's going to dethrone her because she beat her in the amateurs. And so everyone thinks or hopes that she is the one, even though she ain't fought nobody as a pro. And I think that's just something that's what I think that's more of what Clarissa Shields was trying to say. You know, so I don't think more of it than that. I mean, it's a boxing term. I, I, when I hear that term, I hear it the same way I hear the words bum, the same way I hear the words kid. Uh, you know, stuff like that, man. I, all of the boxing terms that we use to dis describe fight the fight game, I put the great white hope or great white hype in that same bin. You know what I mean? But that's just me. And, you know, in today's PC world where everybody is always upset about something, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Thumbs up for the homie on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, much love to the fam. Share, share, share. Rock those 
bells. Y'all already know, man. And I catch up with y'all real soon, man. I hope they put this together, man. This can be something. You know what I'm saying? This can be something. We talked about this briefly the other day. And uh, like I told folks, I wish Layla Ali could have been the one that gave that star power to Caressa. But it is what it is, man. Caressa got to take the stairs, man. That's all it is. Just got to take the long way. She on her way, though. She on her way. And we got T-Rex all day to the next video. Peace out.